While scrolling through Instagram, I found this profile and was amazed by his content. He has 10 million followers and gets millions of views. The shocking part is that these aren't real recordings. He created these videos using AI. In this video, I'll show you that it's really easy to make videos using free tools. These videos keep viewers engaged until the end, and channels like these grow very quickly. You don't need to show your face or use an AI voice like mine. Just add a few things and some relaxing music and you're good to go. Without wasting any more time, let's make the video. Relaxing videos are one of the easiest niches to create create and they don't require much editing. We'll use only AI to make these types of videos. First, we need images for our video. I'll be using Leonardo AI, a free and user-friendly image generation tool. Leonardo AI provides 150 daily credits, which is sufficient for our image generation needs. To get started, click on Select Another Model and choose Leonardo Diffusion. Then, click on Generate with this model. Next, we need a prompt to create an image, which can be found in the description. Copy and paste the prompt, and click on Generate. You can create up to four images at once, but I'll be selecting only two. If you're not satisfied with the result, you can regenerate the images by clicking on Regenerate button. Now click on Upscale. Wait a while and then download the image. Now we need an outdoor image, so copy and paste the prompt and apply the same steps. Now comes the most boring part, removing the windows from the image. For this, it's best to use Adobe Photoshop. If you don't have Photoshop, you can use Photopea, which is accessible directly from your browser and offers the same features as Photoshop. I'll be using Photoshop, and you can follow the same steps in Photopea. To remove the windows, select the pen tool and carefully erase them, just like I did. This part isn't difficult, just time-consuming. If Leonardo AI made any mistakes, you can correct them using the Healing Brush Tool or the regular brush tool. When you're finished, go to File to Export. Make sure to select the PNG format so that the areas where you erase the windows are transparent. This will allow us to place the image on any background without any issues. Click Export and let's move on to the next step. Now, let's edit the video using any free video editing software. I'll be using CapCut. Start a new project and import all the downloaded images. Making sure the outdoor image is below the indoor image. Next, go to YouTube and search for a green screen rain video, download it, and drag it between the images.
stretch the rain video to match the length of the images. To remove the green screen, click on the cutout chroma key, select the color picker, and choose the green color. Increase the strength to 14. Although some green traces may still be visible when the rain falls, we can easily fix that by clicking on the arrow and decreasing the saturation while increasing the brightness. Raise the image to make it look like we're on the ground floor instead of upstairs. Copy and paste the rain layers multiple times and determine the direction from which they fall, which I recommend doing. Click on the last layer and decrease its brightness. Select all the rain layers by holding control and clicking on each one. Then right click and select Create Compound Clip to merge them into one. Copy and paste the merged clip next to the original images and stretch both images to match the length of the rain. Now, export the video, but it's not complete yet. Open the exported video, drag it to the timeline, and go to YouTube to search for a rain sound effect. Download any of them and drag the rain sound to the timeline. Now let's add some background music go to chosik.com and search some relax music download any of them and add to the video cut the excessive part by pressing control b and then delete it To add a finishing touch, let's add a fade out effect at the end to slowly decrease the volume. Click here to change the resolution to fit mobile screens. Zoom in on the video and drag it to one side, then add a keyframe. Rewind the video to the end, drag it to the other side, and add another keyframe.
As you can see, the video slowly moves from one end to the other, showcasing these beautiful scenes. Regarding effects, you can add them, but I wouldn't recommend it. Instead, use some filters to enhance the video. Simply drag them in, and that's it. Now click on export and your video is ready.